to Feel for Fun. My name is Jade, I'm an educator here at Foodshare Toronto, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite drinks. If you guessed Gatorade, you are right. This stuff is so great because it's full of sodium, potassium, and chloride, all the things that we need to rehydrate our bodies after we've been active. It really helps to replenish all those electrolytes that we lose when we use up our energy. Because Gatorade is a name brand product, it can be quite expensive when we buy it at the stores. So today, we're going to show you how to make a homemade version that's super affordable, accessible, and really simple to make. So get your workstation ready and your apron on. We're going to run through the ingredients that we'll need to make this Gatorade. First step, two oranges. Next, we'll need, you guessed it, a lemon followed by some maple syrup, a bit of salt, and some water. First thing we're gonna do is just roll our oranges out on the counter to get them a bit softer, and then we're gonna slice them up into four halves. Next, we're gonna start juicing them. First I'll use my hands, but you can see we're not getting a ton of juice out of that, so we're going to break out our fork to really squeeze all those juices out. If you have a juicer at home, you could definitely use that here. If not, a fork will work just fine. And we're going to do the same thing here with our lemon. Roll it out, slice it in half, and then juice it. And just be careful here when you're juicing these citrus fruits, it does get a little bit messy and tends to spray everywhere. So just be careful of your eyes and your counter. Next, I'm adding in about a tablespoon of maple syrup here. And you can use any sweetener you'd like. You could use some honey or some sugar, simple syrup, uh, totally up to you. Adding a little bit of sugar into our homemade Gatorade will help us stay hydrated for even longer. Now I'm gonna add in about a teaspoon of salt. This is a really important ingredient in our homemade Gatorade because it helps us get that sodium in. Sodium is really important for hydration because it helps us maintain the balance of water in and around our cells. It's important for proper muscle and nerve function, and it helps us to maintain stable blood pressure levels. Next, I'm gonna take this and put it into our water bottle. Here I'm gonna fill the rest up with water and how much water you add is totally up to you. And then you're gonna shake it up to give it a really good mix and get all that salt and maple syrup dissolved. And there we have it, our homemade Gatorade. You can pour yourself a big glass of this to help create some energy in your body and help you generate some electricity. Making your own versions of your favorite beverages and snack foods at home can be really fun. It's exciting to experiment with different flavor combos and suit them to your own preferences and tastes. I do encourage you though to critically question why these types of foods can be so inaccessible and unaffordable to begin with. When we talk about food justice, we talk about a world where folks can access the foods that they want to when they want to. Thanks so much for joining us today. I hope you all get to try making this at home. If you do, definitely share some photos with us and we will see you next